Go to Google and search for Soundflower. Either of those top two results are fine, Cycling74 or the Google code. Download the latest version. Open up the installer and click the installation package. When it's done installing, you'll need to restart your computer. After you restart, go to your Applications folder, open Soundflower, and open Soundflower Bed. After opening up Soundflower Bed, you'll notice that the Soundflower icon shows up in the menu bar at the top of your screen. In the drop-down menu, click Audio Setup. At the bottom of the menu, click the little plus symbol to create a multi-output device. Select the multi-output device and check the Soundflower 2 channel checkbox. In the Master Device drop-down, select Soundflower 2 channel. Now right-click on Multi-Output Device and select Use this device for sound output. Right-click it again and this time select Play Alerts and Sound Effects through this device. Open up the Multi-Output Device drop-down Select the Soundflower 2 channel and make sure the master volume is all the way up, or almost all the way up. Just make sure that your recording volume is loud enough. Next, open System Preferences. Go to your Sound Options, and in Output, select Multi-Output Device, and in Input, select Soundflower 2 channel. Make sure your volume is set how you want it, because after you make these settings, you won't be able to change it. Open up QuickTime and in the menu bar, select File, New Screen Recording. In the Screen Recording window, click the little drop-down arrow and select Soundflower 2 Channel. Navigate to wherever you want to record and click the Record button in QuickTime. You can record the full screen by clicking the screen or drag to record a selection. Now, to, to we white people, we say Rick Ramos. Right, the one Hispanic here probably says Rick Ramos. When you're done recording, make sure to go back to System Preferences and set everything back to normal. This will let you change your volume up and down again.